Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me in my CRF250 rally, uh, just having a bit of a nosy around uh, the shores of Lake Rotomar in New Zealand. Uh, not too much on the agenda today, just out really having a bit of an explore. Though later on, if you want to know more about tyres, I do go into a little bit of a review on what the Shinko 804-805 tyre combo is like, um, and you can actually see them in action. So yeah, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, it means heaps to me if you can uh, do those things. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Go for a cruise along here, I guess. That is one good thing about not riding with mates, is uh, you can just see, see something, go for a cruise. Man, there's a lot of trash around here. What's this? Ugh! Dead llama or something, Jesus. Try not to hit too much of the nasty debris stuff because I don't want to damage a tyre on some bit of old nasty wood. Oh. I don't think we can really go much further. Of course, this is the most off-road I've done on this bike for a long while. Alright, I might just... Oh. Yeah, keep going. Might be easy to turn around up here somewhere. says hopefully that's not ideal Let's turn around before I end up falling down. <sighs> Good bit of adventure fun. Alright, let's see if I can manage to not fall down. Huh. Right, we'll actually go to the road this time, I think. <laughs> Whoa. This is what adventure riding's all about, having a, a dual sport, going out, and just going places where you probably shouldn't. Rose just down there, so it's not like I'm hardcore in the middle of nowhere. Whoop. Bigger loggy bits are a bit of a challenge, but yeah, we're out of there. guys are probably going to tell me to bugger off. <laughs> G'day guys. You're probably here for firewood actually. Alright. That's something I forgot. Glasses. Whew, still got them. Don't have terrible, terrible vision. But legally I'm meant to wear them. 
All right, off we go. And they're down here. This wee road, oh, definitely had a few four-wheel drives churning stuff up. Uh, it does have a trail down to the lake, but it might be a wee bit on the gnarly side for me to be messing around on by myself. Definitely a wee bit on the muddy side. <laughs> Look at that, she's a wee bit busy down here today. <laughs> Flick the camera off and have a, a look-see. All done big nut on that. Not with a big audience. <laughs> Not by myself. That is way more churned up than the last time I came down here. Actually, my ABS is coming back on. Let's turn that off. Snobby in third gear when you take off. Oh man, I love coming out here. It's just so pretty. Love all the what would you call that? Rainforest, bush. Just love how it hugs the road. Like I'm only a couple of hours away from home, but it's just nice to get out of the out of the suburbs. Feel like you're in nature a wee bit. Actually, that's the thing I'm gonna do. I've got a GoPro sitting right here that's basically unused. Now you're not gonna fall over on me, are you? No, cool. I'm gonna finally try and get that rear wheel shot I've been after for about a year. So, hopefully. <laughs> I've had this little setup here for about a year and I've not used it yet. So hopefully that gets me a cool shot of the tyre. There's only one way to find out I guess. Hopefully I don't lose the camera. <laughs> So what else could I talk about today? Well while we're talking, having a hopefully recording nice hire, let's have a quick talk about those uh, Shinko E804-805s. So they're pretty budget friendly adventure tyre, been around for donkeys, um, not really a dual sport bike tyre for this but um, I'm running them because I wanted a tyre that would last me a decent amount of time and I'm not too hung up on tyre weight and everything and uh, they've been doing bloody well. So they're not the nobliest, definitely more suitable tyres for that. Oh, what's going on here then? That looks weird. Whatever's going on. Um, anyway, uh, tyres. Yeah, they're not the nobliest, and um, in terms of lateral stability, um, because they're basically just a big, um, like sort of horizontal knob, they don't, um, they do let the bike slide out a little bit. So if you're in more challenging stuff, um, yeah, they could be a little bit better, but honestly, they've taken me probably about 6,000 k's now. Uh, all the way down the North Island to the Upper South Island. 
uh, Molesley Station, Rainbow Road, you name it, it's, they've done it. And I'm really pleased with them. Um, I'd go as far as saying I'd definitely buy them again. Um, definitely a plus, apart from the fact that they live forever, a little while like this, is um, be quiet. So, one thing I hated about the factory tyres where they were just so noisy, whereas, um, and then I chucked on a set of Avon trail riders, which were nice and quiet, great on the road, but left a little bit to be desired on gravel roads. The Avons were fine on this though. Um, uh, have good fun on this. Alright, Hamilton Road. This is a goodie if you're out for a bit of a play. Um, but yeah, the, the Shinko's the bloody good value. Um, definitely rate them highly. And you can push them quite reasonably hard. Possum or a wallaby? Possum or a wallaby? It's a cat! Zero idea. Oh, is that a turkey? Oh, it's the roadkill tour of uh, Rotorua. Jeez, that's a, that would have sucked to hit. If you're after a tyre that's going to allow you to get out and explore, but it's going to last a decent amount of time and it's not going to sting you in the back pocket, so um, definitely check them out. Uh, one thing I've noticed is um, they don't come in the 12080 um, size for the Rally, the 250L. Um, I've got a, I believe a, a 12090 on there, I think. Um, but yeah. Great tyre, uh, done some great stuff with them. I'm hoping the fact I'm talking them up doesn't mean they're gonna let me down coming up through here. four-wheel drive either. easy trail. It's a bit of a sandy base. Make the life a wee bit interesting. Man, this has been chewed up a hell of a lot since I came through last time as well. I might have to turn around because there's a nasty rain rut halfway up the hill that's caught me out a few times. Now if this is what it's like down the bottom, yeah, top could be very interesting.
Let's go that way. Oh, another guy on a... What's this chap on? A 390 Adventure? Ah, 690. <laughs> oh, no. EXC. Four wheel drive club. They've got something down that way, I would say. Fun track, but very sandy. Into the hill climb. Whoa. <laughs> See what I mean about nasty rain rut? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it up there somehow. Ugh, right. Glasses are fogging up. Chuck Rosie on the stand. Take a photo. Show the boys. <laughs> Hopefully she stays where she's meant to. <laughs> so close to the top. If I had a bit of momentum, maybe. Yeah, I reckon actually. A bit of momentum up through here. Across and out. Or up here. Around to there. Let's give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? Fall and hurt myself, that's the worst that could happen. <laughs> right. Alright, little pig. Can't see shit. <sighs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Despite doing what I do for a living, I am not a professional <laughs> enduro rider. I'm damn proud of that though. <laughs> oh, I suppose the next task is to check that the GoPro is still there. <laughs> that GoPro is a bit dodgy and old. Hopefully that's got the shots I want. And if not, I'll have to come back another day.
Man, this used to be a lot prettier. It's amazing what happens in a few months. that because that was kind of the scariest part of this whole ride was whether I was going to be able to go down that bit, well go up that bit. It's very pleasing. Stand there. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have a rest. Enjoy this. Mm -hmm.